this time I was thinking it would be great to try it even in English because you've been writing me a lot to try it in English <laughs> that you don't understand me when I'm talking in Czech so here I am well let me know if you're okay with that or not but I'm not gonna talk that much but it's from London just one day so about today I just ran away from Victoria because there is always a lot of people and I just can't move there and it's a nice place to talk and now it's like so great nice in here near the Mackingham Palace again like my previous video from London so now I got like one hour I think so I should go to get some food before the documentary because today is the Fashion Revolution Day and so the documentary will be about the impact of the fashion world and about the fashion issues I'll let you know but now just let's walk again through the Green Park to Piccadilly Circus and to Hemyard Hotel Ahoj! Dneska teda z Londýna opět Já jsem se tak trošku rozhodla, že bych to zkusila i v angličtině, ale no Uvidíme, jak se vám to bude líbit, jestli nebudete vůbec rozumět, jestli to bude dávat smysl. No a tak jsem si říkala, že by to bylo docela dobrý z toho zkušt. A třeba se i trošku zlepším ty angličtiny, když budu prostě nucena vluvit do kamery, protože vy každou chybu uslyšíte. Ale to nevadí, takže prostě to zkouším, neberte to nějak vážně, ale prostě si budu mluvit angličtině. No takže mě dneska čeká teda promítání dokumentů v rámci Fashion Revolution Day. Uh, uvidím, jaký to bude, dám vám vědět, ten hotel by měl být krásný. Hem Yard Hotel u Piccadilly Circus a já si teďka půjdu buď na frojo, nebo na kafe, nebo na něco sladkého. Mám hodinku, takže bych se to měla hodit. A protože potom jedu hned rovnou se zpátky do Cheltenhamu. Let's go! going on in London. Like you should find all these Sean the Sheep statues. I think it's since the Easter. Yep. Let's go. Today I just decided to go different way. yogurt found. Let's try it first place on Yelp. I'm gonna be satisfied. Yummy. Is this Londoner's life? Because there is street food everywhere. Should try something. But I don't have time. Reminds me tomorrow. So, takže every Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, to take a pathek. Yeah, that is sweet food. Hemyard Village. That means I'm close to Hemyard Hotel. Here I am. Design hotel, ten yard. Couldn't be better. 
together near Soho. Their wages for an entire month would be docked if they did not come into work that day. What I've spent my life focused on is just telling stories. And I have been convinced and maybe increasingly convinced of this simple idea that the stories that we tell and the stories that we come to believe actually shape the world uh, around us. And a couple years ago, I be began to be interested in the story of clothing, and I wanted to understand uh, some of the effects and some of the impact that was being felt. What I'm hopeful for, and I think there's so many people in this room, if you're here, I, I, you're, you're a part of this conversation, and I know a lot of you in this room are working to move this story forward, and I think what I want to do, what I want to see the film do, is I want to see this story um, expand in, into much more of the mainstream uh, global conversation of our world because the beautiful thing about stories the really amazing hopeful thing about stories is that they can always change I love that like where we've been does not always have to be where we're going and we made the film just so that people could uh, get a picture they could get a snapshot into this world that oftentimes has for far too long gone unseen uh, the film took us to more than 25 cities and 13 countries, uh, several languages, uh, all kinds of uh, horrifying, uh, heartbreaking, and also really hopeful experiences that I will um, never forget. I'm seeing how, uh, what a development tool, and as we always say, it's a full spectrum industry, as you really see in the film. It employs millions of people. It has a captive audience. You know, it has consumers who love it so much. Imagine if we could turn that into the amazing kind of industry that we know it can be. You know, when we first connected, I kind of felt something with you over Skype that day. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you get that feeling. I got that feeling about that. Yeah. And this, I believe this film is going to be one of it's going to be one of those things that gets this into the mainstream, and um, you can all help with that too. Use the hashtags uh, BOF Voices and FashRep, and share the things that you're going to do to make a difference. Right? The things that we've learned from Lucy and from Livia and from Andrew and all of the work that they've done on the front line to better understand this problem, we can all benefit from it and take action from it. So. Um, Thanks to all of you for coming. Thank you to the Ham Yard Hotel for hosting us. And um, please um, go out and, and do your part in making a difference. And, and we, check the website of the film. And check out the True Cost. It's out on, the, on May 29th. Talk. I hope I can bring you more into article, but now I need to run for a bus. And just now, everybody's still here. And I think they got a point, and it will be better and better in the future, and people will start thinking about it what do they wear, who made their clothes. So I hope you can also join this community and start thinking about it because it has a big, huge impact. So I'm going to run for the bus to Cheltenham. Bye.